students welcome to 20 figures 2 brains this is part 11 of online shopping cart project in part 11 we are going to discuss about coding to get all the categories and the coding to get all the products on the home page of shopping cart so let's open the website so this is the home page here on the right hand side we have all the categories and on the left hand side we have all the products so how this details we are getting from database we will see first how we are getting all the product categories so this is the data list for product category in this data list on the page load here we have the default.aspx and this is the c sharp code on the c sharp code we have the page load method inside the page load method we have written this is not is post back because uh, we don't want the data list to be banged again and again on every post back so not is post back so it will get banged only for one time in a post back inside the post back we have written lbl category name dot text popular products at shopping cart so this is the label this label is getting displayed from the c sharp code popular products at shopping cart then we have a method get category so this get category we have created this method get category and inside this method we are creating an object of shopping cart this shopping cart is nothing but class in business layer which we have already discussed in our previous videos to use this class in this default.aspx we have to use the namespace shopping heart dot business layer so shopping heart dot business layer will get us to access shopping cart as this method is public this is public class so we don't have to worry about the access so here we are creating an object of shopping cart k and the data list we have already named it as dl categories so initially we are setting the data source as null there is no data source for that then we are using that object k we have created we are calling a method get categories so this get categories is a part of this shopping cart.cs in shopping cart.cs we have created a public method public data table get categories and as we have discussed in our uh, earlier videos uh, this 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 pattern of calling the store procedure we are using so this will call the store procedure sp get all categories so here we have sp get all categories this store procedure will get us all the records from the category table so it will show laptops mobile paintings and clothes along with the category id 1 2 3 and 4 the category id is the primary key so it will get all the records from this stored procedure and it will insert the records in this data table so let's put a breakpoint over here similar way once we get all the category those categories the data table is directly binded to the data source of the data dl categories and when uh, once the data source is assigned we are calling the data bind method the data bind method will bind all the records which are available and which we have got from the database to the data list and all the records will be displayed in this manner so now let's move forward to get the records for the products the next method which we are calling here is the get products and we are passing the parameter as zero the zero parameter the zero parameter is nothing but the category id when we are passing the parameter as category id as zero we are actually going to get all the all the categories all the products for all the categories and whenever we pass any specific category id for example 1 2 3 or 4 at that time we get the products only for that category so here's the similar way we are creating an object 
and inside this object of cat shopping cart k we are passing the category id parameter so this category id parameter is actually already defined as a variable here so here in the shopping cart shopping cart dot business layer shopping cart dot cs file inside this we have lot of public variables already defined so category id is one of that so the category id which is being passed to this get products method that category id we are assigning it to the category id of shopping cart then we are calling the products get all products get all products let's put a breakpoint over here get all products is a part of shopping cart.cs file a similar way uh, for get categories we are not passing any parameter for get products we are passing the param parameter category id this parameter will be passed to the sp get all products and this pro stored procedure will get the products for that particular category id if the category id is 0 it will get all the products and if the category id is any specific number then it will get the products only for that category id so let's see the procedure sp get all products okay so here we have the procedure it's uh, something big so the only parameter which is being passed you can create the procedure like create procedure dbo sp get all procedure and the category id this category id name should be same as the one which we have mentioned in the get all products parameter otherwise you will get an error the category id here here uh, we are creating we are putting a try catch and inside the try catch we are checking whether whether the category id is not equal to 0 if it is equal to 0 it will go inside the else part this is the if and else condition in sql server so uh, initially we our category id is 0 because we want to get all the products on page load method we get, want to get all the products so this query will get fired so what we have done here is select star from uh, we already have okay so this entire query is our inner query and we have named this entire query as stock table okay so let's try to understand this entire query first to select star let's assume this all as star select star from products p we already know the products table the products table is having the columns like name description price image url category id and product quantity so we need the category id we need the product id we need the name of the product we need the price we need the image url and the product quantity and we are joining this table with the inner uh, with the category table uh, for category table we are giving the alias as c and on the, the join is on made on category id on c dot category id equal to p dot category id so we are going to get all the products for which the category id in products and category table are same another table which we have created is the customer products so let's first discuss the customer products table the customer products table is having customer id product id and the total products which the customer has purchased for that per, uh, particular for example we have laptops so suppose a customer buys one dell laptop and one hp laptop so the in order to calculate the available stock this are the, sub, and the other time the user or the customer comes to buy he will see nine and six as the available stock because one one quantity is already purchased so we are joining 
uh, inner join left join with customer products on c c customer product dot product id equal to p dot product id and here we are checking we are calculating the sum of sum of all the products which they have bought and we are grouping by product id name price image url category name product quantity and category id and we are naming this entire table as a so let's run this query in a separate window when we run this query we get this result the product id the product sold and the available stock so here the available stock for all this product for example the product quantity which was added by the admin was 11 and one product is sold so the available stock is 10 the product quantity added for uh, for this samsung galaxy is 7 and the product sold is 0 so 7 are available here for this krishna painting 15 was added and 7 are already sold so only 8 are remaining so this way we are calculating the product available stock so once the, this entire query is done we are putting it inside the brackets and naming this entire table as stock table the stock table in our in stock table we are checking the available stock is greater than 0 and we are getting only those record for which the available stock is greater than 0 and here if you see we are getting the product con p dot product quantity minus sum of cp dot total product and this this will get us the available stock the cp dot product total will be based on this left join so it will be only as we have put the left join on product id we will only get the product specific available stock for each and every product so this query will get us all the products and initially it will go in the else part because the category id which we are passing is zero so let's discuss for when the category id is not equal to zero for example suppose i am passing the parameter as laptop and mobile phones for mobile phones the category id is 2 so here i will get this query is exactly similar which we have discussed in the else part the only condition we have added is and category id equal to the category id which is passed to this stored procedure so if we take this query in a separate window and try to run it we will get one error so category id so let's put this category id is 1 so what we are getting is for laptop let's put this category id as 2 we are getting all the records for mobile phones let's put this category id as 3 we are getting all the records for krishna paintings so this way this stored procedure will take care of getting all the products for a particular category and for all for a non particular category so let's so this this way get all products will return the data table filled with all the data and the similar way which which we have discussed for the data list all the things will get bind to the data data dl products so let's have a look at what we have in dl category in dl category we have category name and category id both these fields will get assigned to this Uh, to this data list using the eval function and inside here we have pnl products in pnl products we have the name the image url the price the available stock product id product id this command argument we'll discuss in few minutes so this way we are getting the data from the database and we are binding it to the data list so whatever we are getting from the database will automatically get bind to the data list so let's uh, now quickly debug any what we are getting so here we have the page load method 
it goes inside the text of this is now we get the we are inside the get category here we are reached in the get categories method and as discussed this code will call the sp get all pat categories and it will return the data inside the data table this data table will get bind to the data list so if we see the data table we see that all the records which the store procedure is returning are there in the data table similar way the after this get category get products will call get called and the parameter here we are pass, getting passed the category id is 0 so it will get all the products so as you can see it is getting the product id name price image url category product quantity product sold and available stock so this is how the records in the data list of the categories and products are getting bind so now we need to check what happens when a user clicks on a particular category id so this for this did link button we are having a event in the code behind that even is lbtn category when we click when we uh, inside the data list we have already on click event if it is not there you need to uh, fire this event by opening this smart tag edit and in on double click on this so it will automatically generate this empty lbtn category click and inside this what we are doing is we are making in the other panels if they are visible making false so my my, my cart is set to visible false products is visible true and here we have already uh, the program will come to know like the user is clicking on category id 4 or category id 3 or 2 or 1 so on each category id we have binded the pro category uh, category id in the command argument so here using the code we need to get the category id again from the command argument so for to get the command argument category id we have to use this code this code will get the command value which is there in the command argument and set this into the category id the category id will again get passed to the get products method which we have used here and initially on page load it was set to zero and in the second time we are setting it to some particular value so similar way it will get the products and bind it again so this looks quite simple so let's click so this time it will not go inside because we have already set it not is not post back so it will go inside only for the first page load and here we have this visibility set to false the command argument the command argument is carrying the value as one and that command argument we are converting into an integer and here again we are calling the method with category id equal to one so this time it will get all the cat products for the cut category id one so here we have only the category id one and those products are filtered by the store procedure sp get all products so here we are binding only two products and one more thing here we have commented one method like highlight card product this we will discuss later on this is for highlighting the products which are user is selecting and turning it to green so this binding is done when user clicks on a particular category we are getting and when user clicks on the shopping heart logo again we are calling the get all products uh, this is the link button when we click on it what we are doing is we are we are changing the category name again let's click so popular products at shopping cart then again we are uh, the label products the label products is nothing but this one we are changing this to again products then we are categories is visible false products is visible false rest all panels are is visible false visible false and only category and products are set to visible as true and again we are getting all the products with get products zero parameter 
so zero means getting all the products irrespective of the category so it will get and display all the products so here we get to see all the products irrespective of the category so this was very simple i would say and uh, so we are almost done with the coding of this binding all the products and binding all the categories on this home page in our next tutorial we will see how we are uh, highlighting this how this when you click on add to cart how the products are getting added to cart and how we are highlighting this entire the products which are already added to cart so thank you for watching this video you can subscribe our channel youtube.com slash 20 fingers 2 brains also you can visit our blog and if you have any query uh, feel free to ask and comment we will get the solution for you thank you have a nice day